All right, it's been a long time since I did my first ever uh, star carving video, so I thought I'd make an updated video, uh, kind of refined my methods, the order in which I do things. So I've got my trusty three quarter inch chisel and quarter inch chisel and a mallet. So here we go. So first thing I do is I go around the edges with the larger chisel Start in the corner, put a slight angle on it, and just tap down until that other edge goes to the point of the star, and then stop. And do this 10 times. Um, You know, sometimes you might hit it in a little too hard and go past the point. That's okay. Uh, it will be, if you keep that, if you keep a good angle on it, it'll be minimal and it'll be almost imperceptible once you finish the carving. I think, I don't know if you can see that, but I went a little past it right there. All right, so once that, once the outer edge is done, you go and do the kind of same angle, pick the, put the point here at the outer edge and go right towards the center of the peak and then just give a, little, a couple taps until it's about in the center. Again, this, this one you can go over quite a bit because it's going to be carved out for the most part. And then once you get two of them really nicely centered, it makes it a little easier because then you just aim for that point. You can, can get a good point to stop and stuff. All right, so now that we're here, uh, grab the smaller quarter inch uh, chisel. I like the quarter inch. I know some other people use all sorts of carving mechanisms. This one works really well, as you can tell. I've already done the entirety of this board, uh, saving the star for you guys. Sorry about that. So one of the things I've changed, I've changed the, the order in which I do each uh, point. Uh, so if you look at the grain, it's going this way. And so I always pick, if you're looking down at the star with the point up, I pick that left point. And I start at the outer point and work my way way in with a slight angle on it so that the so that it comes up right here to the center. All right, get a little clean out. All right, um, the, the purpose of doing the straight down chisel, chiseling on the punching is to pin, uh, give, you nice, give you those nice clean edges. All right, so once you get that one, done flip it around and go this way kind of trying to follow the center from the center point to the outer most point trying to keep a nice straight ridge on there uh, like this is a this is not a short or quick way to do the stars um, you're gonna spend a lot of time doing this. You know, first ones are probably gonna look like garbage. Uh, if you see my first star, you, you'll see that. <laughs> or my first flag. Um, so now it's the third car is gonna be this one right here. Again, uh, you can go in little bits like this, try and get that thing going, that nice little bevel ridge. Uh, it's, 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 that's especially useful when uh, it's a slightly tougher board or, you know. So, and that, that little valley down here, just kind of give it some nice little, 
electrical passes and you know if, if your punch down wasn't good enough on the outer edge you know just use your little chisel to go straight down get that cleaned out on the edge nice crisp clean lines all right uh, now counterintuitively the fourth the fourth car is actually going to be this one and I've, I've started doing that because uh, I have a tendency to slip on this one uh, and so this flat part right here kind of stops that slip you know and I don't go into the, that star um, just be cognizant of the grain and the direction it's going for for your for how you're carving um, I recently did a Betsy Ross style flag and those stars uh, rotate around the, the center you know all the all the stars point away from center and so uh, all the stars were kind of cut a little differently than than from that left of top point uh, point all right so now our next one is going to be this one um, now you don't want to go straight down like this because it's going to be more tearing so you got to give it a little uh go like that uh you could come in from here but again that comes you come into that part where if it slips you're going straight into that part of that point of your star and get some gouges that are uh going to be noticeable and i mean i'm one i embrace that stuff so i mean my flags are supposed to be rustic so i don't I don't abandon a whole union just because I screw something up in a star. I'll show you a few other stars that aren't quite perfect. Right. Um, and then you just continue in the direction, you know, in that counterclockwise direction from point to point. Just making sure your valleys meet up real nice you know you can give it a little scrape if it's not quite lining up in the valley uh, you try and keep your ridges as straight as possible you know again i always try to take a little bit off at it on the first shot and then the second or third one will be that final car with just a few little small cleanups Normally when I do a full, when I, when I do a full union, I will actually just do one car of each instead of flipping around. So I'll do all of these on all the stars, I'll, you know, and then flip it and do all of another point and all of another point and so on and so on. It's, you know, that's allowed me to get a little more efficient. Uh, it still takes me a few hours to do of carving for each union. Um, for me personally, uh, that works out just fine because this isn't a full-time profession. Um, so I, I don't need to mass produce these things. Top point is actually a little tricky just because of the way the grain works. Um, still using the same principles with the grain. Uh, I tend to do even smaller carves initially. Um, I like to get that valley in real good um, and then move towards the point. Um, you know, just make sure that valley meets up there, you know.
there you have it. All finished. All right, so that's how I, I carve my stars. They're, uh, they're very unique. Um, yeah. Hi. Uh, but they are time consuming, um, but uh, they are well worth the time and effort you put into them. Um, for those that mass produce, maybe this can be a premium thing you do. Uh, again, this isn't a full-time profession for me, so uh, enjoy the enjoy the video. Uh, learn from it, use it. Um, I love helping other people out with this stuff. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments. And uh, I'll try to respond as soon as possible.